My name is Mad Sinclair and I'm a marine biologist and underwater photographer. My journey into photography was a little bit different. I always loved it. I didn't see it as a career that I would necessarily do. But that first time that I went underwater and I saw coral reefs and I saw not only the beauty of the ocean, but the challenges that it was facing. I decided that I absolutely had to capture this and I absolutely had to find some way to take what I was seeing and show it to those back home, those around the world. And that's really where my journey into photography began. I saw the GFX Challenge Grant Program come through on my email and it was really one of those divine timing moments. I had a number of stories that I'd kind of put together over the last few years being out in the field. And I was in this position where I knew I wanted to tell them. I'd built really good relationships with my subjects. Really, I applied because I thought this was a fantastic opportunity to not only be able to fund this work, but also to then disseminate it with Fujifilm's audience really give it a better reach around the world. So my project is called Ocean Woman, and it follows the journey of three women who are exploring ocean guardianship within their communities across the Indo-Pacific. Ocean guardianship essentially is what it sounds like. It is having not only the ability to protect the ocean, but also having the confidence to have a voice in its protection. And these women are incredible because as guardians of the ocean, as the ones that live next to the ocean, that are present in the ocean, and the ones who directly benefit off of it, they are the ones that are best placed to be protecting this ocean, the ones that are best placed to be making decisions about it. And so what's really exciting about these ocean guardians in particular is that they are women that have broken boundaries to become these guardians and to give these opportunities to other women. I have recently got into portrait photography and for me that was a really important part of the series to be able to tie in not just the underwater and the ecosystem side but also to explore these women and their families and their lives and doing this through portraiture was something that I was really excited to do. So the GFX 100S has been an incredibly exciting camera to do this on. A feature that I've really, really enjoyed using in this series is the in-camera double exposure. This is a feature that I've been playing around with and it's been quite exciting because it means I can capture portraits in a slightly different way to how I usually would. They're a bit more artistic and it's definitely been fun for me to entwine the nature in the different ecosystems that I've been visiting with the women themselves. Another really exciting thing for me about this piece of kit is the fact that it's weather sealed. When you shoot very much run and gun in nature, on the ocean like I do, one of the biggest challenges you'll face is weather. We have salt spray, we have wind, we have rain, we have very high swells. Uh, there's always a chance of not only dust, but sand and water. And really, when I take kit out into the field, I need to know that it can withstand these conditions and that I don't have to be constantly worrying. When you're down at 30 meters, you have pressure from the water, risk of flooding, currents, which makes it harder to shoot steady. You have a number of different environmental factors that you just simply don't have topside. When you're actually physically setting up your kit and preparing to shoot underwater, there are 101 more things that you need to do. You need to firstly assemble the housing. Then once you've assembled the housing, you have to put the camera inside. You have to check the dome to make sure that there's no specks of anything on the dome that could be picked up. Then you need to check the O-ring, which is the seal that goes around the outside of the camera. And if you even get a tiny little hair or a grain of sand in there, this can flood your entire housing. As a young scientist and storyteller, I didn't always have that many female role models directly around me. And something that's been really special about the last five years of my career has been finding female role models and inspirations who have guided me, mentored me, and 
have lifted me up. And I think that's something that's so special when those around you have the opportunity to lift you up. It's really important to me that these women and the barriers that they're breaking are visible so that women in their communities can look upwards and see, hey, that's something I can do. That's something that women can do. That's something that I could be one day. And in these communities particularly, it's not common for women to be able to see other women doing these things. And I remember going back to my journey to see women breaking boundaries and doing those things always inspired me so much. And so with this project, I really hope that I'm able to inspire not only women within their communities, but women around the world to think, hey, that's something I can do. I can have a voice in looking after my local area, looking after the oceans in general, looking after nature in general. I really hope that I can lend my skills as a storyteller to help amplify their voices and their journeys and hopefully inspire others to, to do the same.